Hi, ladies and gents. Um, my class have asked me to go through the most recent D1 paper. And so what I've done is I've scanned it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this and see what the answers are, what I think the answers are um, for this paper. I'm going to break it down into what, eight um, short videos. Um, so that if you knew that what question one was all about, you don't need to watch question one and so on and so forth. So the first question was all about matching. Now we have to define the term of bipartite graph. Now this is actually a question that came up, uh, the very, very same question came up in a recent exam. And um, so what you're going to need to write is a bipartite graph. My apologies for my writing. I write like a drunk toddler. But if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that already. Okay, so what you need to say is a bipartite graph consists of two sets of vertices. So the first thing, you're going to need to make sure that you've got two sets of vertices. Um, you might want to call them sort of A and B. Um, and the vertices in set A can only connect to vertices. Again, you can use vertices or nodes. Vertices in set B, they might want to just then say that um, vertices cannot connect to vertices in the same set. So it's worth two marks. So those are two key points that you need to do. Um, you've got two sets of vertices and say that vertices in, ha in A have to connect to vertices in set B and that they cannot connect to the same set. If you've done that, then you've got yourself two marks. Okay, um, part B, starting from this initial matching. So we've got our initial matching right here. And we've got to use the maximum matching algorithm. So we've got to get somehow from P to B. And when we go from left to right, we go along any existing um, matchings, uh, sorry, things that are possible matchings, but then we go from right to left on, our on the matchings that they've already given us. So we start off with P, so P can go to A, but A is already connected to N. So we've got to go back to that, so we write equals N. So N can be connected to E, but E is already connected to T. And then T can be connected to D. And it can be connected to A as well, but then um, we have to go back to N. So we go to D, which we can see is already connected to L. Oops. Try that one again. So D is going to be connected to L. And we can see that L can connect to C, and we know that C is already connected to M, and then it's connected to M, then M can go to B, which is a breakthrough. So we say breakthrough again. Make sure you say breakthrough, and make sure you say change status. Then P now goes to A. N now matches to E, T matches to D, L matches to C, um, M matches to B. And then it says you should list your alternating path, uh, which we've done here, the easy alternating path. And then you state your complete matching. So you write down that complete matching. Is, so L is now connected to C. Um, M, so I'll go down, so L is now connected to C. M, we can see is connected to B. N is connected to E. P is connected to A. And T is connected to D. And that's it. That's the first question done. If you 
if you're confident that you did all that, then that should be five marks. If this is the first time you're watching our school at maths, please like, share, and subscribe. I want to get this out to as many people as possible.